Yo, 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 what is up? So welcome to the first of many Monday with Molly. My goal here on this channel on Mondays will be to give some content, some experience, some perspective on all the different topics that uh, that you might be facing in your daily life. So I'm probably gonna keep the videos between five and 10 minutes. That's kind of the goal right now. As we go along, who knows, things will evolve, but that's the goal for right now. I figure that's a reasonable amount of time as you're getting ready for school or work or uh, on the bus or on the way to work or whatever it might be. And always uh, feel free to put a comment below about either a topic you'd like covered or a comment about the video. How If it helped you, if it didn't, um, you need clarification on something, I got your back. And also we're going to be doing uh, Flip Your 20 Fridays. So you get to be, uh, we get to spend two days a week together. So Monday with Molly and Flip Your 20 Fridays. So those will be for Flip Your 20 Fridays. Um, that'll be questions that come in to me um, either through Instagram or on Facebook or, or email. So if you would like to be in the running to have your question answered for Flip Your 20 Friday, uh, just subscribe to the channel. You know how to subscribe. It's YouTube. You know this. Subscribe and um, send me your question. You can do it, be anonymous or not, and uh, I'll answer it. Just got to be a subscriber. So that'll be for Flip Your 20 Fridays. All right, so here's the deal for today. Today is all about what is Flip Your 20. Now, if you know me, you've heard my presentation, you know me at all, you've read my book, shameless plug, Creating the Champion Within, it's on Amazon. Um, if you've read the book too, you understand what Flip Your 20 is. So here's a breakdown for all the newbies. So life is all about perspective. And the thing with perspective is there's a really fancy word for perspective. And I gotta be honest with you, I don't do fancy. Even these videos, they're not even gonna be edited. It's gonna do one shot wonder, be done with it. In the long run, maybe maybe I'll change it right now or just keep it simple. Uh, Cause simple is kind, simple is kind. So if life is all about perspective, uh, this fancy word, uh, that is another word for perspective is called paradigm. And it's spelled P-A-R-A-D-I-G-M, which kind of sounds like, if you just saw it, it kind of sounds like paradigm. I've had people tell me paramedic. I've had some kids yell out pterodactyl when I'm doing a presentation, a school assembly or a keynote. <laughs> so it's pronounced paradigm. Now paradigm sounds like pair of dimes which sounds like 20 cents, or what I say, 20 cent. In fact, I'm so all about your 20 cent and flipping your 20 that I even have my little paradigm earrings on. I'm 45 years old. I just got these a couple months ago. It was the first jewelry I was ever excited about. So your paradigm is your perspective. It's how you choose to see yourself. It's how you choose to see each other. It's how you choose to see the world around you. It's how you choose to see what is possible for you. It's how you choose to see how you start, how you go into every day with, with what the perspective that you have with like what filter or what lens you're looking um, at the world with. So, and, and what makes your 20 cent, oh man, I love it. What makes your 20 cent so powerful is this. It's really two things. The first is your 20 cent, it only exists in one spot, and that's up here, right? Nobody gets access up here unless you give it to them. So if you've ever said something like, man, she made me so mad, man, he ruined my day. I'm like, no, he didn't. No, she didn't. They said or did something and you chose to get mad, and that's okay, I do too. We're human, please be human, don't be perfect. Perfection is not a human quality. I'm just saying starting today, you own whatever feelings you're having, the good, the bad, and the ugly. It's okay to be frustrated, that's normal, it's healthy. I'm just saying don't blame them for making you feel bad. Maybe it's your past experience with the person is why you felt bad. Or maybe you're, you didn't get a good sleep last night or you're hungry or just in a cranky mood. So whatever they said normally might be funny, but today you got like ticked off. 
that's not them. It's how you're choosing to perceive it. It's your perspective of the situation. And the beautiful thing about that, knowing that your 20 cent only exists up here, is that means you're in 100% control. Nobody gets access up here unless you give it to them. They don't get to live in the penthouse if they're not even paying rent, broheem. You know what I'm saying? Like, so when we start to take control of our responses and how we handle things, it just puts us in the driver's seat. And man, I don't care what age you are. Man, you could be 12, you could be 82. We want to be in the driver's seat. That's just universal. So that's what makes your 20 cent, one of the reasons why your 20 cent is so powerful. The second thing is it works like this. What you see is what you get. What you see is what you get. And next level is what you believe is what you get. So think about this right now. In your own head, think. What do you believe is true about you? Oh, I'll wait. This will be the uncomfortable silence part. What do you believe is true about you? I used to be a teacher. I got good wait time. So if what popped into your head said, what do I believe about myself? What do you believe is true? If awesome things came up like I'm creative and fun and disciplined and hardworking and, and uh, compassion, I have great empathy. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Keep believing and doing and living more of that. And whoever in your life has helped you cultivate that, please go and tell them thank you. That is amazing. If, however, and I've been working with teens for over 20 years and it doesn't really matter if it's teens, it's really humans in general. I know that the opposite is probably true for most of you. If I, when I said, what do you believe is true about you? If the thoughts came into your head like, I'm not good enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm not tall enough, short enough, pretty enough, creative enough, rich enough, bloppity blue. If I am not, I am not blank enough, nod your head right now if this is true. If that's the case, first of all, you got to know you're not alone. You're not alone. That's a universal thought. Doesn't matter what age you are. But if that's your belief, I'm not good enough. And what you believe is what you get. When would now be a good time to flip your 20? When would now be a good time to change that belief? Because only you can, because only you live up here. Because flip your 20, right? If your 20 cent is your perspective, what you see is what you get, your belief, how you see things. Flip your 20 is simply, are you willing to see things from a different perspective? Are you willing to choose to see something instead of thinking, I'm not good enough, I'm not good enough, I'm not good enough. Can you flip your 20 and say, you know, I am good enough. I, I've had some struggles. I know that people have told me I'm not good enough and maybe I started to believe that, but it's not true. I get to choose what I believe is true about myself. Flip your 20, the fancy people call us a paradigm shift. I don't do fancy. I call it flip your 20. And it works in every situation, any day, any situation. Right, like as an athlete, if I'm at the, if I'm at the free throw line, times run out, I got two free throws. Based on my performance, we win, lose, or tie. Or I got two free throws, times expired. If I get to the free throw line and I'm like, oh my gosh. And my 20 cent is like, oh my gosh. I hope I don't miss. I hope I don't miss. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. And I go to shoot. I'm going to miss because what you believe is what you get. Or I could flip my 20. Same situation. Everything leading up to that moment was identical. But in that moment, I chose a different belief, a different perspective. And now I flip my 20 and I'm like, <laughs> you're going to be sorry you fouled me. <laughs> cash money that's going in this is why when you see elite level athletes like choke at the end of a game it's not because they're not skilled man it's because they their belief they and what they focused on was what will go wrong so it did that's how powerful your 20 cent is but when you flip your 20 I mean my goodness I even got a necklace this is a lot of jewelry for me <laughs> But when you flip your 20, this is why when you see elite level athletes who have ice in their veins at the end of a game, man, they just have supreme belief that it's going to go in. They're like, give me the ball, coach. 
The talent level is the same, but it is in that moment. What's going on up here? It works for school, it works for home, it works for relationships, literally everything. You are the one in control of your 20 cent and you can flip your 20 and choose to see things differently at any point. Right? Maybe, maybe today. You feel maybe you have a test at school or you got a meeting at work or a presentation. You're like, oh my God, I hate doing presentations. I like I always mess up. Like, oh my God, I'm probably gonna mess up. It's gonna be terrible. Well, if that's what you believe, yeah, it's gonna suck. Because that's what you believe, and what you believe is what you get. Or you can flip your 20 and go, you know what? I have prepared as much as I possibly could. I, I know the information as much as I can. I will go in with confidence, and I will do the best that I can. It's going to go better. I don't know if it's going to be all-star or not, but I know it's not going to suck. Because you're prepared, and you're confident. You go with a sense of calm, because you believe that you can. I'll share one story for this first video, because we're going on 11 minutes here. I was speak, keynoting at a conference up in Michigan, a state teen leadership conference. And I got a, a DM from a, a girl a couple days later. And she said, you know, I got to tell you, I wasn't sure if this flip your 20 thing really works or not, which is totally fair. Because it's a skill. You got to put in the reps. Just like in the gym, you're doing curls, you got to put in the reps, you got to put in the reps up here. So she said, I don't know if this really worked, but I thought I'd give it a shot. So she went to her competitive events, which they do at these kinds of conferences. And she says, normally I, um, I freak myself out. I get super nervous. Um, I think of like how much everyone is better than me. And she goes, I usually kind of choke. She said, but this time, it was literally the next morning. I had a 30 minute talk. Next morning she goes and applies it because you got to take action. So she takes the action. She applies it. And she, then she DMs me and says, yeah, I mean, look, I was still a little nervous, but I wasn't like panicky. And I just thought I can only control me. I am prepared, I have done the work, like I know this stuff and I can only control me. <laughs> she became the first female in her state's history to win gold in her competitive event because she heard a message, she took action on it, she believed in herself, which is the most important thing. You gotta create the champion within, within, and she, she made history. This is how Flip Your 20 works. In any video I ever do, I'm probably gonna say Flip Your 20 at some point or another. We got Flip Your 20 Fridays coming up. So I just wanna say, uh, feel free to comment below as to if you understand it, if you need more clarification, how you've been flipping your 20, especially if you've been following me for a long time. If you're a new follower, hit me up on Instagram at Flip Your 20 underscore. Comment here, as always, subscribe. Anytime you hear a video on YouTube, they're like, please subscribe, so subscribe. And um, I look forward to see you, uh, seeing you on Friday for Flip Your 20 Friday. Submit your questions. Uh, either email me at info at mollykennedyspeaks.com. Uh, you can DM me on Instagram at flipyour20 underscore. Or feel free to comment here. It can be anonymous or not. It's up to you. All right, my friend. Great to talk to you. Have a great rest of the day. Have an amazing week. And I look forward to seeing you on Friday. Flip Your 20. Peace.